I thank my uh, honourable friend uh, from Reigate. The uh, Sharia um, criminal law came into being in 2014, and at that point, uh, and certainly when I was uh, in the country, as I say, last summer, we were well aware that uh, we were heading towards a path where the Sharia penal code would come into play and, uh, and made uh, those warnings. So the warnings uh, that we have tried to give to the uh, Brunei and authorities go back, certainly in my time as a minister and possibly for some time before that. I sh- as, as I would reiterate, the new Sharia penal code does not supplant the existing common law, which uh, will apply uh, in most cases and I think will apply obviously to non-Muslims uh, uh, within the, that country. The burden of proof for conviction under Sharia is incredibly high uh, and there will be no new intrusive efforts at enforcement. But I do understand the uh, frustrations that uh, my honourable friend has put into play. Um, I, mean, I, I can only say uh, through the diplomatic network we have tried to warn um, and I mean, it probably has come as a surprise, as I say, to many uh, in Brunei, just the international outcry that this um, uh, imposition of a penal code has put into play. We will continue to make uh, those representations diplomatically. Um, as I say, I personally take a view that it would be better to try uh, to keep uh, that country within the Commonwealth and uh, to make the changes and the, the sort of changes that, uh, with some of the initiatives that we have in play rather than um, putting uh, threats of expulsion in, into play. Um, but uh, I'm sorry that my honourable friend, who I know is quite robust on these and indeed many other matters, feels that uh, we have been uh, uh, light and lily-livered on this. Uh, I, I can only reassure him, certainly in my time as a minister, we have been aware of the concerns coming down the track and have done our level best to try and advise the Brunei accordingly. Thank you,